back, world, to the Verbal Intercourse Podcast. Got your host, Nick Walker, back in the building. Shout out to everybody that's been listening, supporting the podcast. And we're going to keep building and growing at Verbal Intercourse. Today, got the homie back, Rye Red. Yes, sir, back yeah. again. Yeah, we're we here with some daily topics. Anthony Carlisle, Coach Carlisle, he stepped in on this one, on some random ass shit. But he, we, finna, we finna chop it up. We finna chop it up. So, yeah, man, we just back with some daily topics, man. And uh, yeah, we gonna we gonna start off. We gonna we gonna talk a little bit about this trash situation in Jackson, man. I've been riding around the city, been seeing trash everywhere, and uh, you know, uh, I I grew up going to school here, went to college here, lived here, currently live in Madison, and I just feel for my people in Jackson, and uh, so kind of wanted to talk talk to yeah. Rod a little bit about it because uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. City council trash they trash <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> they trash yeah, you know what yeah. i'm saying For real. yeah so, so this is a little background of what's going on right now the city of jackson is uh we have council trash pickup because there's currently a dispute going on with the mayor and the city council and so right now they're at the stalemate three three um and they're trying to figure out if the uh, our current uh trash provider richard's disposal will continue to be picking up trash and so I guess what the big beef is is that uh, Richard's Disposal um, was the cheapest uh, contractor uh-huh. and a favorite of the mayor's, and um, some, some city councilmen didn't like that. And so they've been contesting it and fighting it. Stokes. Uh, up, uh, Stokes. <laughs> Stokes. And, Stokes. Uh, also Aaron Banks and also uh, yeah. um, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, the War One guy, too. Uh, I can't remember his name. But anyway. Um, they've been fighting the mayor in this for actually a couple of years now, but now it's finally come to a head uh-huh. where um, uh, they didn't renew their contract. And so and actually out, and now, so actually now Richard's disposal is suing the city because they had a contract initially. They've been, you know, they and, and, and they, they have every right to do it because they got their business up and running to be able to take care of a uh, trash for a major metropolitan city. And so now the city council is the, uh, they because they had to still made it cancel the contract. And so now they lose the money because they got, they sitting up and they can't get paid. And they also, Right now, the city of Jackson doesn't have any trash pickup at all whatsoever. I think they thought that it was going to end a little sooner than what it was because yeah, uh, the, current war, the current World War, um, the current World War on uh, the um, well, I, I lost all my words today. Uh, Ashby Foot, that's his name. Okay, Ashby Foot. You know, and for the first uh, a couple of weeks, for the first week, he was like, "Oh, we're gonna do three trash pickups. We got him over here on Old Ken. We got him over here at the CVS." And he thought it was gonna be about a week or so, a week into it, and we still out. You know, we still don't have trash pickup. Last week he was saying, "Oh, we doing one place trash pickup. It's only gonna be at the CVS." And now, and he's after he said after that we done, because uh, yeah, he thought it was gonna be a week because uh, he was spending his own money to get trash pickup now. Now it's been so expensive. He quit it. Now. Hell yeah. That, yeah. I, I know that shit is expensive. I live in Jackson, so luckily I haven't been able to, uh, we ain't having to mass that much trash where it's been like a big issue for us right now. And I also thought that they were going to get, get it figured out too, man. It's really, it's kind of sad, man, because it's all this issue of ego. That's, that's all it, it is. That's it. That's, that's it. all it is. Like, it's, they cheapened the alternative, uh, what um, Waste Management was going to do. And, you know, some of the council people don't like the mayor. And the mayor, you know, it was an ego thing on him, too, because he was like, nah, he was bold enough to think, like, oh, we... Are, he wanted the Richards. Yeah, wanted yeah. To, we can sue them. And, but, I mean, Richards won at fair and square. They yeah. went through the RIP process. They were cheaper than everybody else, and it cost us cheaper than everybody else to do our trash. And so, you know, it was it was a ego thing for the mayor, too, though, because he was he challenged it and was like, you know, I can veto what the, you know, the uh, city council do, which he kind of couldn't. But also they put them in a you know messed up situation where now both of them are at the loggerheads and like nothing getting done. After right after the water crisis, we just looking bad all around. So it's yeah. crazy, man. I was uh, on the outside looking in. What it's like, y'all? You know, I know y'all don't live in the city, but yeah. Well, what you think? We we ain't really personally affected, but we probably we know people in Jackson. Like my family, my family in Jackson. Well, not my immediate family, but like my grandmother. I got a few family members in Jackson, so. But that's the thing, man. It's just like it's it's embarrassing to say that, you know, uh, a state capital don't have trash pickup. And of course, we we probably we we definitely not the only state capital that, that this thing happened to. It that happened to I know it happened in New Orleans. Yeah, I was in New Orleans when I yeah. saw it have some issues with trash pickup. And Richard Disposal is from New Orleans too. Oh, oh see, I didn't know that. But yeah, man, it it's crazy, man. It's just it's 
you know, I, I got homies in New Orleans and, you know, you know, you visit people and you walk in their crib and it's just like, well, not in their crib, but on the outside of their crib, it's just like trash bags lined up from the whole, like, community, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, and then I've been seeing people post pictures on Instagram where people just decided that they're going to dump their trash in certain spots. And it's just, it's it's a, it's a crazy thing to be dealing with you know what i'm saying in 2023 like trash pickup and like that's crazy what i hate most about these situations is that so when stuff like this happen the answers to these things are very 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 complicated mm-hmm. it ain't the mayor fault it ain't the city council fault it's like a bunch of people's faults all together mixed in collectively there, collectively but you know you know, my mantra is that people have been on me paying attention, and generally people are stupid. So, they, you know, they mm-hmm. want to latch to an easy, what's the easiest way I can say what the problem is going on here? You know, it's hard to be like, what's going on? That's complicated. Don't nobody want to hear that. They want to be like, what's going on? He's stupid, and they ugly, yeah, and this is this. Yeah. And so people get mad at the wrong Stokes, people for Stokes this. Stokes' ass, just embarrassing <laughs> Yeah, so people get mad at the wrong people for the wrong reason. If you a leader, it's the mayor fault. Or is Kenny Stokes' fault? Or is this person's fault? And sometimes you can break down a lot of stuff like that. Like when it comes to state politics, it really do be like Tate Reeves' fault. It really be like yeah, no his doubt, fault by no himself. Doubt. But when, when stuff come up like this, it's like, well, what, when you talk about a black city like Jackson, what's going on here? What's happening? Why is it like this? Why are people feeling like this? What do they feel like they got to do to do this? It's complicated. And so what I hate about it the most is that when it get complicated, people want to boil it down and make it simple, and you just can't do that. And I say this, like me personally, you know, I grew up in Madison County. I went to all JPS schools, went to Jackson State University, went to UMMC. And I love Jackson, done lived in Jackson before. You know what I'm saying? For several years. I say that, man, I I personally, I personally think if you got the means, well, I ain't going to say the means because it's people that live in Jackson that got the means, that they love Jackson so much that they will actually live in Jackson. But I personally wouldn't spend my money to live in Jackson right now. Now, granted, I love Jackson. And, and under better leadership, I would live in Jackson. Under better circumstances, I would live in Jackson. But a few things I can't fucking deal with. Bad water, which should nobody have to deal with that shit. That shit, especially if you got a family with small children that's developing and stuff like that, they need clean water to develop. Like if you, you, I, I did research on uh, Flint Water, Michigan, the, the the water in Flint, Michigan, and some of these kids, uh, the the kids got developmental delays due to the water women fertility issues due to the water like like that that level of systematic racism that caused this water system in jackson to be messed up i just can't live within it and now this trash situation now this trash situation gonna get fixed way faster than the water get fixed but at the same time it's certain it's certain shit that you shouldn't have to deal with when you paying taxes to an area like it's how it is in Jackson. Like I said yeah, earlier, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm always pitching people. Like, I'm the biggest proponent for the city of Jackson because I know that the only reason, the only way things get better is that people like me stay, people like you stay yeah. in the city. You're right. That's the only way get, things get better. And they got bad because of racism. And now that things get better, you know, like I said, people get, and people had a right to get upset. And I'd be, that's why I'd be like, it's kind of mm-hmm. exasperating and exhausting to be like, all right, Jackson, this, and it'd be like, like the water thing, I wasn't as mad about the water thing because that was literally built off racism. The water wasn't working because white folks, like, really just didn't want the water to work. Right. And because they left the infrastructure to crumble for 40 or 50 years, whatever. So, and that was no particular person's fault. This trash thing is just like, it's y'all fault, bro. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. Right. Yeah, come fix this shit. Fix this stuff, bro. Stop <laughs> making us look bad. We already got other stuff going on. We got bigger fish to fry. Come on, y'all. And it's just like we can't get about you can't get out get out of our own way, but you know don't we, let Dion find out. D, Dion find out about this <laughs> shit. He gonna go on podcast they pick, they this pick, week. They, pick up the they, trash they, they ain't had the trash together either. Hey. Dion, bro, you were living in Madison. Yeah, <laughs> you might move Johnny T to Colorado. All right, move Johnny T to Colorado. They can't pick hey, up the trash. The, the, the good, the good and the bad come with living in the city. 
That's like right. Said, that's right. You, said you worked in the city. It was crying. You yeah, yeah no, doubt, no doubt. Same thing in Houston. Same thing in Dallas. Same thing in New yep. York City. You right. The thing is, you can't with Coach Prime learned. You can't have the good parts of the city without having the other parts. Of the city. You can't have Johnny T's and good food and Jackson State and your HBCU lit and then be like, oh. I want that, but I don't want to. I want to live in yeah. both. You can't have. You got. You got to pick, yeah. my boy. You yeah, yeah. Pick. Like you can't have a New Orleans vibe and not have New crime. Orleans. Crime can't, with you. You can't shit. have. You can't have a New Orleans vibe and you can't and and not have Bourbon Street smell like pee. Right, right. And throw Bourbon Street just gonna smell like shit. pee. Yep. Yeah. You can't. You say, oh man, I can, we can't. We can't live. No, you can either be part like New Orleans and it's gonna smell like pee, or it's gonna be clean and it ain't gonna part like New Orleans. You gotta figure it out. That's how it is. So. Yeah, that's what I say on that. I'm a big proponent for Jackson, man. But look, hope they get it together soon because they need to pick up my trash. You know, I, I got a little boy. You need to get this. That's what, together. and that's what I was thinking about too. You had kids, bro. Yeah. I seen some dude. He went, he went kind of viral on Instagram. He, I don't know who who he was talking to, but he was like, man, the whole city smelled like a big diaper. <laughs> All right, bro, I was so dead, bro. I was like, man, come on, man. <laughs> bro, it was a it was a whole video, man. He he was he was going out, bro. But you know, he and he he was like, who the hell is riches? Who is that? I was like, bro, this nigga crazy right here. But <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You might not even know who responsible for picking up your trash till now. Bro. Real talk, cause yeah, cause you know. cause when I lived in Jay. I was like, I saw uh, WM Waste Management yeah. and shit. You know, that's who I knew. You just know, like, oh, it come on Mondays and Fridays, right? Like, Tuesdays and Thursdays, whatever day it came up. Yeah, but man, shit, I want Jackson to prosper, man, and because yeah. this state ain't gonna prosper without Jackson prospering. So sure, yeah, right. City Council, uh, Stokes and Showquay, all that and, shit. And, like, well, Aaron Banks <laughs> and uh, Ashford Foot and uh, Vernon. Uh, yeah, I gotta get together. Stokes ain't gonna do that. Stokes don't vote. Stokes ain't. They need to vote also, Stokes out at this he, point. He, he gonna never get voted. He showed sure like he gonna die in that office. Yeah, he, he showed sure like. So we you, you basically have to pretend like Stokes don't exist. Yeah, but hey, but Stokes, I need them trucker heads to go on sale, bro. I'ma just cop one off the street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, get well, get well, so we kiss Stokes' wife. His wife in the hospital. Oh man, I ain't know that. So yeah, man, we gonna we gonna switch lanes a little bit, man. This this artificial intelligence shit, bro. I was on Twitter, and I seen a dude write a verse, write a verse, right? Mm. Go to the studio and record it with Kanye voice and put it on the beat. Sounded it sounded like straight up Kanye track, and and you got people like Elon Musk saying, "Hey, we need to slow this art- artificial intelligence shit down because." Ethic, ethically, like this shit gonna cause a lot of problems. It's gonna put a lot of people out of jobs in tech and in, in things that they in and even not even just tech, like in in healthcare, in business, in banks, and it's gonna put a lot of people out of jobs. And it's gonna be on some some shit like people are gonna be getting counseled for saying shit that they never even said because somebody created some type of artificial intelligence. That made it look like they said something and stuff like that. Like you already got stuff like Chat GPT, which you could just go in there and ask any question. Like you could you could you could type in G- Chat GPT, write me an essay on this topic, and it write you an essay. Hey, I, you know, I would actually, I, I I would push back on that because I would say, you know, obviously those those easy things that we can conceive, like when it comes to artificial intelligence, oh, it might do this, it might do that. I think we haven't even really like scratch the surface on like what artificial intelligence can do for us and like those are those obvious things you're talking about like you can they take some jobs from us but I think it might end up making our lives a lot easier I always think about like uh, when you think about it, technology and life changing technology you think about the cell phone you think about uh, the iPhone or you think about something as simple as like GPS yeah we have yet to figure out what's the GPS of artificial intelligence yet when GPS became a thing, it didn't take nobody a job. It put MapQuest out of business, but it didn't take like <laughs> shit, nigga. That's job. job. That's job. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but by and large, though, it, it was a greater good for everybody because now you can get around now with a cell phone, and it made you think about how do we get around the phone? Like, I want to do the people phone? that got fired from MapQuest use. <laughs> <be> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> they won't be. Out. <laughs> they, they're still around, I think, but they yeah. shifted gears. But like you know, it like that changed the whole. Like you can get around now. By you know using your phone, like driving here, you can go to a new city without knowing where nothing is. 
putting it in the GPS and getting there. So it, there's some there is some artificial intelligence like opportunities when it comes to whether it's writing a paper, basketball analytics, whatever it is. And they that'll be more like so that. like data science though. That but it will work for both. AI is like it'll save us a lot of time trying to figure out all the combinations of what can do what and yeah. what, how many threes need to be hit for this to happen or this to do this and who can do this at this time. Like it's a lot of stuff that we can gain from artificial intelligence. Oh, more, I agree. More I think than it actually hurt us in the meantime because I the artificial intelligence we got right now ain't ain't that we were thinking we got that um I robot artificial intelligence. We, we Man, but it's yeah. coming though. It's coming. But this is the thing though. Yet. If Elon Musk saying slow this shit down. Well, <laughs> it, well Elon Musk is an idiot. So. Yeah, he is an idiot, <laughs> but he's he's a very smart idiot. He's like well, he, genius level idiot though. He, like he was like, I'm gonna buy Twitter and it's gonna be uh, great. And, ah, he fucked he, he fucked it up. But I mean, we ain't go nowhere. So no, no, but it's you know it's well, some information that these guys be privy to. Mm. That we're not. That's so true. if he that's may say yeah. slow down, yeah, that's what I'm true. saying. Like it may be something that's going on <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes that's moving a little fast. Where he's saying, "Hey, yeah," because this shit, because this shit is like it's it's on some next level shit. Like like we don't even know, we don't even know the limits. Like you know what I'm saying that this shit gonna take us, and I'm sure he know it. Because when you that rich, you got you got all the documents, you got all the. All the shit that that we, regular we, people can't we see. We like to think that they do, but I, I, be, I, I don't know, I bro. Think, I think Elon lost all his air once he bought Twitter, and you got to see like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Like he was like, oh, okay, all right. And when you get like a basketball analyst on TV or somebody that can hoop, and you're like, oh, let's hear him talk about basketball, and you hear him talk about basketball, you be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that shit happens more. Than, <laughs> yeah. That shit, that shit happens more than you think. I just yeah. be looking like no, and I this said, nigga really could like, hoop, but like, he really didn't then, don't know no, the game. Yeah, and yeah. So when when it comes to Elon, man, I've seen what I saw from what I've seen from him. You know, he built the businesses, man, but his folks was rich. Yeah, like, they, he, he, he failed a bunch of times. That's like too. saying Trump was like, oh, he was great. Like, yeah, you you won off your daddy four hundred million dollar loan to be able. You turned it into a billion dollars. It's easy to turn you might forward. be you might be on to something though, because if you because if you give me a million, you know, it's, it's you can turn. It's easy to turn four hundred million to a billion dollars. Yeah, you need capital to do that. You yeah, know? yeah. You need to be able to kind of put into big businesses, buildings, and stuff like that to make it happen. Elon had a you know jumping into PayPal early. None of the ideas he had was original. You know, Tesla was already a thing before he bought into it. Mm -hmm. Now all he did was like push people to make it make them work hard, and then you know he cornered the market in electric cars but then also he went off a lot of government contracts that's like shit Elon he 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 finna make more money off that Twitter shit because he because what he realizes is that people will pay for clout so like we'll so like you like instead of giving superstars blue checks mm -hmm. let's give everybody a fucking blue check <laughs> charge their ass eight dollars a month a month so so you got Motherfuckers I went to school with There's not a celebrity They ain't I ain't gonna say they ain't shit But they normal people They just like me and you You think they're gonna, they, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna be able to make money off it in the long run? Yes because people will pay for clout in this era People But it, you know, it won't be clout over here But if you can pay for it Why would you want it? You would think that Until you go in 4th Avenue And everybody got on the same fucking shoe <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like People will pay for clout bro Especially Bro Think about it I see people that got like, say, 15,000, 20,000 followers on Instagram. They paid for this shit. They, uh, like, like. They used you, to, they don't do that no more. Well, it's you like, crazy. I, it was more prevalent back in the day, wasn't it? Nah, bro. People, people, people pay will pay for cloud, bro. People will pay for cloud. Like, and and when you tap into that, which is what I'm sure he understand that shit. Any, I, I feel like people that's on social media, like I'm on Twitter every day, I'm on Twitter every day, all day. LeBron said he will never LeBron they say LeBron won't even pay for regular subscriptions to shit. Like I think that nigga yeah. use like the regular YouTube with the ads, the Hulu with the ads, mm -hmm. all that shit with ads. He's like, I'm not paying for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Hey, I, look, I, am I bougie because I, 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 I use YouTube with uh I don't pay I pay for YouTube. That's not bougie, I think. <laughs> Because they ads are kind of irritating as hell. Yeah, I, 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 I got it free one time, and then it changed my life, and I was like, yeah, I can't go back to watching YouTube with ads. No I won't pay for that shit. I ain't paying for it. Yeah. As soon as you get into it good, though, like, and then, yeah. Yeah. I just get it. Five and, seconds. And, and, and when you get on that YouTube with no ads, like, 
you can close your phone and like lock it and it'll still play. Now, the only thing I will, now I never paid, but the only thing I will agree with paying for, if you was like into Pandora during that time, yeah. paying for ads on Pandora, I can see that shit because it's just like, bro, I was just jamming. Like, how the <laughs> fuck is it a commercial here yeah. right now? <laughs> Yeah, YouTube, YouTube changed a lot. YouTube Premium changed my life. Too. Yeah, so yeah, man, let's switch gears a little bit, man. It's been like a crazy amount of mass shootings in the U.S. Like this year alone, it's, I think it's been like more mass shootings already you know, got, this year. I got some notes. So that's go been, ahead, go ahead. <coughs> so there's been uh, 146 mass shootings in the U.S. so far, including that last one at the school in Nashville, where three children and three adults were killed. And the mass shooting in Kentucky on Monday, which left four people dead. Was that the one at the bank? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, figures from the Gun Violence Archive, a nonprofit research base, showed the number of mass shootings have gone up significantly in recent years. And in each of the last three years, there have been more than 600 mass shootings, almost two a day on average. That shit crazy, man. So now, while the U.S. does not have a single definition for mass shooting, the Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as an incident in which four or more people are injured or killed. Uh, their figures include shootings that happen in homes and in public places. So, yeah, so 146 mass shootings so far this year is April. Y'all got guns? No, I don't. You don't? I, I don't, yeah. I, I, Dang, I that's crazy. Hey, we, hey, we lacking. I mean, nah, All three of us. I don't live my life in a way which. Nah, 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 nah. It ain't about that. Yeah, nah, it ain't about that. Yeah, it ain't about that. It ain't about that. I, I feel you. I feel you. But it ain't about that. Like my home, my homeboys, Corey, Gene, Corey, and Juju, Army. Yeah, but but listen to me. They all on my ass about this shit. And I'm a I'm a cop one, but I'm gonna tell you, I don't I don't personally like guns. I don't like them either. But that shit a necessity. Like I done shot guns. But I don't see how people just get a rush from shooting them. Yeah, I, don't, right. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't think you you don't need a gun. I think people think you need a gun more. Than Shit, you need a gun. nah, bro. Like you, you got you got a wife, you got a child. I don't need a gun. And Shit. you living in Jackson. And you living in Jackson. <laughs> Man, I made it so far. We but but, but real talk, you living in America, bro. Yeah. And and all these mass shootings, same weapon, yeah. AR fifteen. Yeah. Like. Like you know, what I'm saying we. You never know. You you could be in a church like them, like them uh, black people was when that dialing. What is it? Dialing roof dude walked up in there. Yeah, yeah. Dude. You could be you could be in there fellowshipping with a church, the safest place that it should be in the community. My boys not be having guns. Right. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. The black church back in the day, they used to have guns up in the church because because of shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we gotta really get to the root cause of these issues, man. My big thing is I'm for you know, you know, common sense gun control. Like we shouldn't be able to get AR-15s the same way. Like the United States government won't let you get, like you can own like rocket launchers, but they won't sell you the rockets. You know what I'm saying? People, <laughs> but they but they don't holler about gun control. Like in the United States, you really can bear arms with anything. But like like I think there's a plane you can even have too. But they won't give you none of the weapons that go to it. There's no way you can get your hands on them. So there's ways black they market. keep stuff from you. Yeah, no, yeah. you can't get that, that even from the black market. Yeah, because they find out if you got them, they own your ass. Shit, them like, damn. Even, so when it comes to, I think AR-15 should be just as hard to get. What you need an AR-15 for? Yeah, you can't use it in game, hunting. Like, not no, legally no. anyway. Why would you, you, that's what I'm saying. The only you, thing you use for is target you're practice. To, you're not trying to put nine of uh, a 12 bullets in the damn deer. You're trying to, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. To, you're using a rifle. You're trying to put one in their head. You're trying to put one in the side. Yeah, because it's you know, good game and shit. You ain't going to shoot no deer with no AR-15. Your we, ass we in, suck. A, we in America. <laughs> really, we, we don't need no guns around here because other, other developed countries look at us like we slow. They look at us like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, why are these people? Because no, everywhere else that's developed like us, they don't have these problems because don't nobody have no damn guns. And buddy that did the mass shooting at the at the bank, he just, I think, he just got fired. I think, yeah. and he just walked well, up in there. Yeah. And I guess he just shot everybody he yeah. ain't like. But if he had a pistol, you wouldn't be able to go in there and shoot that many people because you can't pull off that many. Guns. You pop, pop, pop. Hey, everybody running. We gone now. You know what I'm saying? I personally you walk in there and just do this one time and. Frrr, and you done killed five, six people. Yeah, you right about that. I, I think, you know, I'm a cop a gun, though, because, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And you know what I'm saying? You get your gun? 
Yeah, you know, I've been going to the gun range a little bit over there in Gluster. <laughs> you see, you so know, one, one of the delicacies of living like, in Gluster. You, like you, you feel like you need one? I feel like I do. You yeah. know, like you said, you never know. You know, if you at home, you have to protect your home, or mm-hmm. you know, just sometimes when you out of the corner, man. So I live in the hood, so you know. You know, bro, you need, bro, you need a strap. I don't need no gun people now. pulling up on people at the red light, man. You, that's what I'm saying, I bro. That. That's that's the thing I'm least scared of, because you know, the people that yeah, you know, when you get shot, 99 percent of the time is because you is because somebody you know. And like I said earlier, I don't that's live true. My, I don't live my life in a way where a nigga want to shoot me. I feel you. Or I feel you. Me. I feel you. But bruh. So the only you, way I, the only way I'm gonna never know, gun, man. The, the know. only way I'm gonna eat a gun is if I randomly end up in a mass shooting or somebody randomly walk in a store that I'm in. They decide to shoot store up, and then I have to decide: Do I want to be a superhero and shoot this nigga, or am I going? <laughs> I ain't gonna be no superhero, but <laughs> I'm just trying to get out. Yeah, I'm just alive. trying to get out. That's my thing. Like, like, <laughs> like you know, you say you know you never might. You you won't be in that type of situation. I feel I that might, I might be because you but know I won't be I won't be in a situation where somebody is going to want to kill me. They might I not want to kill you. Situation where somebody want to kill some people and I'm one of them people. Yeah, you just around. But I don't live my life like like ain't nobody don't nobody, ain't nobody bad enough for me to want to kill me. I feel I feel except, that way too. I just except, like, I just I think I need to just you know. Else. I need to have one, you know what I'm saying? I need to have one or two, you know, just in case, you know. But that's the thing, though. Like, I don't have anger issues or nothing like that, but it's something about somebody, like, up on my ass when I'm driving driving (laughs) on the highway, knowing damn well I'm going 70 and you up on my ass and I ain't got nowhere to go. It made me want to just go inside the glove compartment and just aim it out the window. Just, <laughs> just, and it's stuff like that that I think about in my mind. That I'd be like, if I had yeah, a man, gun, you might, you, might get, you might even get that checked on. Man. Hey, hey, yeah. man, nah, man, it's a, it's a little road rage thing. It's a little tick that I got it. <laughs> little road rage tick that I got to get. With the pistol in your hand like this. Yeah, man, hey, but real talk, my homies, man, they got a bunch of them. They got a bunch of them. Of course, Core. Shout out to Core. They're my brother, but. Yeah, yeah, he got a little gun problem. He he got he got plenty of straps. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, you you like you almost increase your likelihood of getting shot if you have a gun, because if you get in those situations where you flash a gun, somebody else. Oh. You know, army cats though, man. Yeah. You know, hey, yeah, they they got a lot on too. I'm like, damn, man. He like, man, you gotta be ready, man, just in case. Something like, go damn, down. like ready yeah, for nigga, World War Three, nigga. Right. <laughs> I, I recognize that we live in America, so look, that's why I'm saying like. The other countries like they don't need have guns. I'm like, hey, we live in America, we gonna have guns. But the thing is, like, we don't need these crazy, super fast guns. And why? When you shouldn't be, it need to be hard to get a gun. Yeah, it need to be real hard. Yeah, to get yeah, a gun. real, real like, real like background check. Like, real, like it, it should be a harder gun. to get a gun than get a job. Like, yes. like yes. dead ass. Like yes. it should be hard. It shit. Yes, exactly. That that is a hundred percent. Like all the things you think about that's very hard to do. A gun should be just harder. Hard to get. Yes, <laughs> harder. It's because it's a lot of stuff that's hard to but do. But the thing is, it, 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 the, the thing is, gun control wouldn't even make sense no more because a lot of motherfuckers are getting shot with unregistered guns. Yeah. Anyway, this shit all the way out of hand well, right now. Of, they got a lot of comprehensive ways which they check that. They got a lot of buyback programs. They got a lot of <laughs> buyback. Yeah, they do because you can, they, they, they they it's a country that play top premium dollar for guns for guns. Oh, and, okay. And these folks, these dudes in the hood with these guns. Guess what? You can get a gun that's worth two, three hundred. You can get eight hundred for it. Real? It's, hell yeah! They suck yeah. that out of yeah. the government. The government just buys them back. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the original intent of the Second Amendment is null and void now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You have the right to bear arms in case the government. You know you want to. You know, you, you, you want to. You know, do an uprising against the government. I think a gun ain't gonna help you uprise against the government. Nah, no more. we'll be dead. dead. We'll be dead, dead in ten minutes. No, not even ten. Not even ten minutes. Yeah. It's just like. We not even the government so big. It's, it's like we not even here. Yeah. yeah, it's like they not they not even sending that the, the local police. Like it's like it's so it's on another level. Yeah, it's like when I went to Miami recently was with my with my guys and we were in Brickle and it was just like the, the levels of money in Miami. And then he was starting to say something about Jackson. I'm like, bro, you can't don't say nothing about Jackson. He was like, what? I said, we not even. Yeah, we, we ain't. We, we, we not ain't even. We not even talking about the same level. We on different levels, my boy. That's like going, man. My cousin that hooping, he fifteen, and you know what I'm saying, Kevin Durant, bro. We talking about 
We not. <laughs> we yeah, 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 They're yeah, not the same yeah. thing, my boy. Yeah, yeah. He went for 30, bro. That's not even what we, that's not. That's nah, like, built different. We, built, we a totally different world, my boy. Yeah. So. But yeah, man, we, these NBA playoffs coming up, bro. And uh, Playoff coach, come on, give us your, who, who you got in the, man, the, the game done changed a little bit too, man. Like the records are getting worse. Like West. teams, like, not just records in general. Like you know, we got these playing games and people going in and out. And like, <laughs> I hate that. I feel like back in the day, before, you, you had to play in before, yeah. before Steph uh, and them started shooting all the threes and stuff like that. Like games, like you know, team good teams went fifty and you know thirty. You know, a lot of them did. And well, yeah, the West. Like, I think I think the West just had a really bad year. They had a lot of injuries in the West. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry got hurt a lot. LeBron, yeah. AD, why of you course. The, why you had to play in? Yeah, I want to hear that. You done had 82 games to play in. Yeah. I feel that. So, yeah. I mean, like. That I'm shit a, exciting, though. Like, like when I go home, I'm cutting that shit on. Dead ass. Like, that shit is exciting. <laughs> but was a because player. it's like two teams that's losing. Dead ass. So, it usually create a good matchup. Yeah, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, it's like, man, come on. You had 82 games. It's not like we playing a short season. And then now you get down, you're the 10th seed. And your season's supposed to be over with. And like OKC, you know, they went on road, win a game. Now mm -hmm. they got another matchup, mm -hmm. you know, and it'll be cool. But you still probably not finna beat the Bucks. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, that's true. But you, you playing, you basically playing for extra game checks, right? <laughs> I don't even think to do the stats even count in the play-in game. Nope, don't even count. So, so who, who you got this? Who, who you like this year in the in the, in the play on West, East and West? Let's go East and West. Who you like in? Who's gonna end up making the finals, you think? I think it's wide open, man. Um, even though you know you got I'm not sold on Boston. Like, not sold on Boston? I'm not sold I'm on not Tatum, sold man. You a coach, I'm surprised like a team like Boston. Like a team. As a coach, Shit, I feel Milwaukee like, a team. Milwaukee, you know, but <laughs> Boston, I'm just not sold on Tatum yet to see if he can get over the hump in the big games, man. Yeah. I'm still I'm, I'm he still show you. He gotta show you He gotta show me I'm hey, disappointed I was proud from last year. Nah he disappointed The shit out of me Last I, year I was, proud, <laughs> I was proud Last year Cause I I think I, I had One up on Nick Cause when there, there was Golden State And who was it uh, Who uh, was it Boston, Boston. Boston. Yeah. And he was like Man Boston I was like bro Dang Like I was like You gotta go With Golden State Cause I was like Cause they have been here before You know like, I trusted They know what That's crazy man home. He was like Nah Boston I was like he showed I'm a, me I'm a Lego fan, home. and I wanted Boston to win that one last year because I wanted, I I wanted Tatum to get over the hump and to finally prove himself. And I'm not that big of a Tatum fan. I like Tatum. I like Tatum, but at the same time, bro, like like how he did in, in them lad in in that whole playoff series, I was just like, bro, I don't even know if you like you posting Kobe all the time. I don't even know if you one of them ones <laughs> yeah, yeah. like that. Like like <laughs> of course, <laughs> like like bro, you a superstar, but you ain't one of them ones. Yeah, like, right. there was, there was, <laughs> hey, there was some funny memes. Was, he kept texting, I got okay. you, Kobe, and Kobe, mm -hmm. and Kobe kept going. And what was the Kobe meme was like. I'm texting me. <laughs> so right. Man. You know Kobe was in here. See, like, see, I'm see, me, man. see, see, Giannis proved that he was one of them ones. Before before that finals run, I didn't know. I was like, Giannis, he a great player. He a superstar. He might be the best player in the league, but when it come down to it, is he one of them ones? That I think in that game six, I think that man missed like maybe one free throw. If he missed who, who one did, free throw. Who did, they, who did they beat that year? They beat Phoenix. And they was down uh, two. Man, man, you know what's crazy? I, you know, I know y'all he won them ones. I don't I don't know if Giannis won them ones. You crazy. He got a they, title now though. Yeah, he got a title. Yeah. And he, but, and but he that put year, them on his back. But that year to get it. Phoenix was supposed to win that one that year. Like that was to me, that was uh uh, they was up 2-0. Yeah, if that, you up 2-0 in the series, that was that was what's his name's like. You were supposed to. He messed that up, and he need to redeem Devin, himself. Devin Booker ain't one of them ones though. He's supposed to have been one of them ones. That yeah. was it. Was like I'm gonna you tell was you watching, something. You who you watched from that year? You was like, oh Devin, you finish. You need to show me why you that one now. Because all he had to do was hit mid range. You know them last hit two guys, game, he won. Tatum and Booker. They both was they get to that level. They want to post Kobe shit, like bro. <laughs> Y'all embarrassing, man. Y'all embarrassing him. And the, man, reason, the reason why I would pick, I picked like uh like Devin Booker over Tatum in that because Tatum was going up against like Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. I like, bro, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, Tatum was bullshit. Like, like Devin Booker was like, Wiggins, Devin Booker, Wiggins, Wiggins, all you got to do is hit mid range shots consistently. 
And he couldn't do that the, the, the third and fourth games. And then let Giannis didn't come back in there. Giannis just wanted it more. Well, Giannis is a mismatch problem for everybody. They but. still was going to beat them, though. Like, beat them. Not with horrible. no damn DeAndre Ayton. <laughs> they was about to. Man, I, look, was, look, I, coach, I, I agree. Hey, they was up 2 0. Am I tripping, coach? It was he? I thought that, that should have been the one they, they won, man. Yeah, that should have been the Chris Paul should have went on here and sealed the deal. That's what I'm saying. They had, a, they had an old school superstar that proved that he can do something. <laughs> a team that had never been there before. Uh, a you young know, dude that both, was like, yeah. you that guy, hit me. You can shoot. Just pull up. Stop, pop, pull up. Hit, Booker ain't one of them up. ones. Booker done had instances where I realized he wouldn't, was. Was uh in this summertime when he got mad at oh, niggas the, double teaming him double in the open run. And he said, yeah, oh, I remember. Yeah. I knew you uh, that that pissed me. I was like, hold on, that's a little shaky, but I still rock with you. Exactly. Then when Luka Doncic embarrassed him last year, like I was cool with you losing to Giannis because Giannis ultimately was the best player in the whole series. And usually, if you got the best player in the series, you gonna win the series. But when Luka Dungeons embarrassed him like that in game seven of that, of that, uh, of that, I think that must have been the Western semifinals. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, man, I don't think the Suns team can can do well, anything. Why they play Luka straight up? You know, I thought that they was going to, I I feel like they was trying to say, okay, we're going to keep all y'all shooters out of it. Because Dallas was set up. They had a bunch of guys that can just shoot the ball, can't do nothing else. We're going to let Luka get 40. Let him have his 40. But... We didn't realize y'all was gonna play that damn bad. They played horrible that game, and and the thing is now is that they got Kevin Durant. Can he stay healthy in the playoff? That's what I want to find out. Cause I mean they lighten ass. They they got a they real top heavy. They bench is kind of decent, but they ain't battle tested. They they still got little uh, what's it Cameron uh Cam uh whatever the the, the little dude name the left handed cat. But other than that. I think I think the West wide open. I think the East, Milwaukee, and Boston. and in Boston, who you got in maybe league? Philly. Who you got it with Lakers and uh and uh Memphis? Memphis. I don't even want to think about that. Man, it's gonna them first two games gonna tell all. Yeah, if tell they all. get if they get down 0-2. it's over. It's over. Who get down 0 two? Lakers. LA. LA. Yeah, because the first two is always in the higher seed. So then the Lakers will get the next two, but. <sighs> To be, be hard, man, to be a seven seed and like work your way to the to the NBA. I, I like the, I like the Lakers' chances because of Memphis being so young and yeah, them the, the, also being so dependent on uh, John Morant. Yeah. But but they ain't who, so dependent on coming? they ain't so dependent because John so, be so, out and they win. I mean, but but in the playoffs, yeah, yeah. I get yeah, I get what you're saying. He, I think I think uh, Stephen Adams was, being he, out. He, one of the, like, I, I, he might be one of the ones like John Morant. He but but that's the thing. You gotta see though. You I mean you he, know he, he, this ain't his coming out year. Who going like you got to figure who's coming out year is it gonna be or who are we following back to this year? Like you know what I'm saying? Who coming out year is gonna yeah, be this because, year? Because we got if you talking about one of them ones in the playoffs, you got Steph Curry one of them ones, LeBron and them one of them ones. Oh yeah, uh, LeBron go to uh, who else? Like you know, like if you you play them, who, who, Kawhi and them ain't one nobody them coming. Ain't nobody coming out this year unless unless somebody yeah, do honest, something. Tatum ones. had to redeem himself or Devin Book. Yeah. Them probably the them, them, yeah, yeah. the only two. Yeah. Y'all two ain't no more. Well, you know what happened last time. Now, nah, like you, you need to be now. To everybody counting out Sacramento so fast, and I'm just like, you know, Sacramento don't come on primetime TV that much. But I've been watching a lot. I've been watching them on NBA, uh, on uh, NBA uh, dot com on the uh, league pass, and I'm like, this team can score. They can't defend, but. I wouldn't want to play them. Everybody was like, shit, we want to get this seed so we can play Sacramento. I'm like, I don't know, because them boys can score. <laughs> now, we've been talking about one of the ones, and y'all ain't mentioned none of the MVP candidates. MB, that's the thing, MB, though. Joker, jo Joker. Joker. Uh, uh, MB, who you like? Who you I, I'm just not sold on Denver, man. They do it every year. Great record, going to win a series or you two. Like, you but... like Joker games? Like, ain't it kind of weird? It's kind of like this dude that, like, Get all these stats, but I'll be watching them. Be skills, like, man. Like, skills, man. Like, like it's like, it, like, 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 like that's I'm the not thing. Impressed, though. I'm kind of like, what is this? He just not flashy. Yeah. I mean, get the points. He can pass the ball. 
He can shoot the ball. Yeah, but he, but he also can't win either, though. I mean, he win regular season games, but, like, he ain't. That's, but that's, that's Dane Lillard, too, then. And now he's not even winning regular season games. But now he's now he saying, I don't want to be in Portland. <laughs> yeah, could have been left. Yeah. <laughs> like, Nick is or, upset. Or, or that's a Bradley Bill. Like, Nick is upset with Devin Booker talking about the pickup. I, my dislike to Dame came when they was down there playing the Pelicans in the playoffs. And they just kind of ran two at him, trapped him a little bit. And he had, like, seven or eight points. And he was like, he never just seen, like, a double team before. Like, coming off a screen, like, two people staying with you and make you giving up the ball. And then I just been like upset, <laughs> like ever since then. And hey, I'm like, that's a real basketball coach. That's hey, because you ain't you, you not at no that level screen. and haven't seen a, some type a, of double team. If you go to the local gym and hit a couple of shots, right. two people might start yeah, coming at you to make you get a ball up when the game on the Bro, line. Especially with somebody like Dame, who you knew has been great most of his life. He, I watched the old documentary with. I watched the uh, when. Uh, What's he got? Pat Beverly when he was in high school. He was a great, you know, like a cold player in high school. They were sending two, three people in him. If Pat Beverly getting two, three people sending him yeah. in high school because he cold in high school, and you can believe he cold in high school. I knew no Dame in high school, in yeah. college, somebody sent two yeah. people to you at yeah, one time. Especially at Weber State. Yeah, they were definitely <laughs> double. I judge these dudes out the playoffs, man. Regular season, I'm not, you know. And that was always my thing with Dane. He a great regular season guy, but when he get to the playoffs, I want to know who going to show up. We all sound he like hit that jumper right against the Lakers in the bubble. He was out there crib walking. We ain't seeing the rest of the series. Yeah. You know, he just disappeared. Yeah. And every time, man, they run across somebody solid, you know. And you that's you like him. You think NBA could be one of them ones? I think, I, I think he could. I think he could, but the only thing about it is, when has the league really just like had a team that that wins at a high level in the playoffs and championships that just got dominant bigs? Mm. You know, it's kind of more of a wing like guard type game with the Steph, with the LeBron, mm. with the KD, those type of guys. We just hadn't had the Shaqs and the Elijah ones and those type of guys that just winning. You know, Tim Duncan had him a nice run at the Power Four, but just like. Jokic and those guys because when you get down and you need a bucket, you want that ball to be in the hand of a guy that can uh, uh, go create you something. Yeah. And those guys there are not guys that can just, you know, do that. So it just had not been no team recently where they just dominate where the center actually winning championships. That, 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 that's not the game we played them on. I think, I think Philly, I think they have something missing – that, and I can't put so my finger on it. Hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> James Harden. I mean, you know, he led the he league. Always, he, he, he led the league in assists now. I uh, mean, he always he always been missing something since he left the Thunder. Like he always, even when Houston, he was scoring all the points and going yeah. out there. It was like High you usage. knew if you watched basketball, you knew. Yeah, you look like a second rounder. <laughs> put out. You know what I'm saying, man. That, you know, but funny. that's the like, thing, you look, like. You wasn't doing that. That's yeah. the thing, like James Harden, man, like Embiid is gonna be Embiid. I think these last few titles, these next couple titles, are gonna be uh, the titles that help solidify um, older players. And I think maybe one of them will go to uh, Tatum or uh, um, what's his name, Phoenix Suns. Oh, you talking about Booker? Booker. I think one of those, but the next three titles, maybe one of them will go to them. But I think the next couple titles are gonna end up going to Stephs, to LeBrons. To people like that. Golden State ain't about to touch this shit this shit. year. Look at that title last year showed you everything you need to know about. Like they want yeah. you to know, like look, against like, them babies. Yeah. See them with babies. Yeah. If they go up, I don't like nobody. Cause you put them against, you put them against uh, any of them folk. Them like who? Nah, you I, put I, Golden I, State against Milwaukee this year. They gonna kill them. Milwaukee uh, is gonna kill them. Like I'm, I'm telling you right now, they gonna kill them. I can see that. That might be the only one though. Oh yeah, because I would love, you know I would love to see uh, uh what well, in the West um, Phoenix Suns and Golden State because you know Steph and and, and CP three and they going KD in. KD going oh, KD that too ass. and, and, <laughs> and Steph and CP three because you know he I, told I hope this ain't twenty fourteen no more. I hope nobody gets it. hurt. I'm I'm look I'm praying that Steph nobody gets talking, hurt. Steph just talking cash. Yeah, with yeah. I, I I just pray that nobody gets hurt, bro. Nobody gets. But hurt. Then if we see that, then we ain't, the Lakers won't be there. 
Hey, and that's that's a risk I'm willing to take because these Lakers, I'm gonna tell you, they like, bruh, like I told you earlier, they need a health advisory for them motherfuckers to come on TV. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's rough. And before we have to the next one, I wanted to ask you about the uh you, you still the Brian number one fan that's like, you know, big big LeBron fan. What it felt like when you seen him hit the point hit the get the most points ever all time in the player? I mean, you know Did you cry a little bit? No, I didn't, man, because I want championships. <laughs> you know, the points is cool, don't get me wrong, but it's just like high school. Kids score two, 3,000 points. Man, win the title because ultimately, man. I think win. that's bigger than the title. I, I, think he, I think he got. I think he's going to get one more before he retires. We, we, this we, is we, we need chain. to get that. Huh? We need the other title. He one more, but we, I mean, look, you, he solidified himself as I like watching him because when he won a title with Cleveland, then everybody say he wasn't great. Everybody was like, "I oh, he great." Well, you know, they was like, "We we mess with him." But then the, after he got these points, it was like, "Ah, oh, he top three. Nah, they everybody saying he the goat. Now I'm a top three guy. No, I, I say mean, he top I, three. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he the the goat, but he but he, he I mean he Mount Rushmore. He like you, you hear him saying they was they was doing bad. They was doing that goat stuff in the back when he was getting interviewed the other day. Uh, <laughs> I was like, you got you had to win. That's I I need another title. If if we don't get he got the most points in any I mean, NBA player all time, and he's still playing. Yeah, and that's a great accomplishment. That's, but I that's need, the I, accomplishment. I, that, I can't that, hit a nobody shot. Nobody got more points than me. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, it, a, and he wasn't trying. Health. Yeah, yeah, that's a test. Yeah. He wasn't. He, I'm that, not that, even a scorer. That, that, that's some that's it's some a, bullshit. <laughs> that's a media ploy that this nigga said. It's a testament to the longevity, just, just, taking just care awesome. of his body. Yeah, yeah. but and the freaking nature, like that's that's that is yeah. not normal. And not, again, for somebody who ain't never really tried to score like that, they say that shit. This motherfucker been averaging twenty eight. 30. But you know, but as you, as hoopers, as coaches, as men that know basketball, you know that he ain't been his prime objective. You know, scoring was like, okay, and I'll score. I'll do this. <laughs> and I'll, and I'll score. You know why I need another title? What? Because I think that was what the play in game. Oh, yeah. Uh, he made a little play or a shot. And he always. Put the crown. The, we can't put the crown on no, no regular seat, <laughs> no play in game. Man. I need a title. If we're gonna do title. that, we need. If he win another title, it'll be his fifth or sixth, fifth, fifth, fifth title. Fifth. I don't fifth. think he's gonna catch Jordan, but man, look, he, he won't catch it. Jordan. But just to have he a can title, pass Kobe with another title though. Throughout this, like uh, his stretch, I would Kobe, Kobe died though, <laughs> so he ultimately. Nah, nah, nah! Don't give him that Tupac treatment. He did, he did it work when he was living. But yeah, that's another topic for another day, man. Last, last topic, man. This, this Freak Nick documentary dropping on uh, Hulu. Everybody being tripping out about it, saying, Get "Okay, nervous. yeah, we're yeah. too young to be nervous." Because I, was, <laughs> yeah, that went out era. But you know, some of our classmates, you know, they had younger mothers and or. You know what I'm saying? They had older siblings and stuff like that. I gotta, and that, that I gotta was, ask my uncle about free nigga. I'll see what he gonna say. Did, did he? I bet you your uncle went. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> no yeah. doubt. Your uncle was there. Definitely probably went. I gotta ask him about Bruh, that. Bruh, that's crazy. And and everybody was talking about, I, you know, I posted the status. Everybody was tripping out. I was like, you know, if we did a documentary on JSU uh, homecoming, mm. then, you know, we'd all get fired. So, but y'all went to USM. So yeah. y'all got to live through the. Q Delta and Glory all that type of Q stuff. Delta. Is Q Delta still a thing now? Uh, is, is I'm not thing? even sure. I don't, I don't even look, know. look at him. Look at him. Don't act like they look, know. I don't know. <laughs> look, look, look. I ain't been, I ain't been back. They don't know no more. <laughs> I was there during the peak years. Oh yeah. I feel so, like my years was the peak years. Man, look. I went before I went to Southern Miss. While I yeah. was there doing Southern oh, Miss, it was like, you know, it it you was. You went peak after time. too, cause. You grad, you left. You and know that was my years. You came back. And yeah. He didn't come back for nothing else. But then we come back. We Q the Dels. crew of us Q would Dels. be like the regular crew of us would be like six to eight. Yeah. Q the other time we were about fourteen of us. Man, and to come back. Yeah. Doug would come back. Who else? Everybody that, that, come back. Bro, bro, that's DJ the thing, come, bro. bro. I never, I never went down to not one Q Delta. Oh, you tripping, bro? And then people said it, bro. Like hey. I'm gonna tell you, in college, I was so locked in to my school. Jackson State had such a good camaraderie with USF. Yeah, that's cause, true. Because they were, you know, we would mess with each other. Be like, oh y'all do this, y'all do that, y'all do this, y'all do that. He said, you come down to Q Delta, come down there for Q Delta. They be like, yep. yeah, yeah, I'm coming yeah, yeah. They, everybody, the whole hey. campus was gone. But they said, they said, hey. 
it, it's some it's some ones out there in the uh, USM, but yeah, we going to yeah. Q Delta like it's be like yeah, like talk to me a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want y'all to revisit the past. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about the experience. I, I, I never I, went. Like Q like Delta, like um, spring break. It's like one of the things where you know it's something big, so you kind of let loose even more. So that's the that's the fun part about it. Like if they made a documentary, was, would you be embarrassed? No, I wouldn't be embarrassed. You wouldn't be embarrassed. I wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> I was, I was it, depends. it depends on where they, where they film me at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I probably would, man. Like I said, that was sold me on Southern Miss at one point. Like I had went to, <laughs> I went to Q Delta before I even enrolled in Southern Miss. So hey. oh, yeah. and I was like, man. I got it. That was come. a perk for me. I just remember hearing about the mythical Q Delta. And then when I went, I was like, oh, this is mythical. Yeah. yeah this is mythical. I remember the first time I went to USM and the first Thursday night I went out and it was a party downtown at the what what was what was the spot downtown? Was it the hi hat? No, ooh, no, that was the. Oh, time. you missed the hi hat day. No, oh. hi-hat day. <laughs> uh, it was a, it was, a, it was, a, it was a cold factory or before like it graduated. It was like some kind of cold, cold factory. Anyway, the line was wrapped around the block. Yeah, and and nothing but you know folks in line and a lot of women in line. And I remember we was in somebody raggedy car, and I was in the back seat looking out the window like, oh man. And I, I knew that time I was like, oh, I love this. This is gonna be all right. This is gonna be all right right here. <laughs> This is it right here. Yeah, so, yeah. See, I ain't, I ain't never go down there, man. It was always doing like right. midterms. They used to have it. They used to have it at the like convention center or something. It started like at the club. Oh, you started at the club. Like at, at the hi hat, and you know, you can imagine how packed it used to be. And you had other clubs throughout, you know, the mm-hmm. city that would, you know, piggyback off. But that was like the main, and it kept growing. And then they had to move it to the convention center down on 49, man. And you would think sometimes when you in a building that big that you just can't have a party vibe. Mm-hmm. But man, when you get in there and you look around and you see all the people in there and everybody yeah. having fun, it yeah. just. yeah, you know. Bro, Drake performed at Q Delta one time. It was a Friday yeah. night. Sat yes. on his couch on, on, in, the, in the chair up there, didn't Yeah, it? sure did. Yep. It, it was early Drake. Cause we, we got to college. When yeah. I got to college, I said, Drake was just popping off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I bro, feel like a, 08, 09. That's why, that's why I'm kind of ashamed of Drake right now. Because I'll be like, dang, my boy, you ain't growing up since <laughs> he did Money, man. <laughs> he did the same life that he lived back then. But no, nah, he, he performed. He, he uh, what was it? Uh <clears throat> CJ got him up there or something. He was like, I ain't even supposed to perform this, but he he was singing all his hits. Yeah. He's yep. yeah. he supposed to have like a, just an appearance. Like just a walkthrough. And, yep. you know, and they had they, he and they put his the songs on. He, they he, put his songs on, they gave him mic. He was like, it was one of them instances they were like, oh, y'all done treat me in the performance, bro. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't pay for he this. Went on, yeah, yeah. He, and he already <laughs> yeah. did. But he wasn't like big Drake, but he was like, my yeah. song's on the radio. Yeah. You know yeah, who I'm yeah. is. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, they, it, it was around the time they were making all them songs together with the young money, the bed rock and oh, all yeah, them songs. Yeah, yeah. So it was, was right around yeah, that yeah, time. He was sad even, with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was yeah. And I was hearing all them stories about him bouncing back and forth between Houston, Atlanta, and Vegas. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Falling yeah. in love with Nashville. the strippers. And well, like, Memphis. He used to, his father was in Memphis and, and all he falling in love stuff. with the strippers and being like, Oh, you really felt that way about them? Yeah. He was like, Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, man. I, I hate I hate I ain't get to experience man, it, but you know. You tripping, man. You Life goes go. on, bro. Life your brother goes on. Q, man. You should be ashamed. Yeah, I mean, that's because I know I mean, your brother was out there. No doubt, he he was out there. But you know, you know, in that environment, you know, he ain't even gonna see your your yeah. brother. It's like but at some point you be like, yeah, you my brother, you like, but these niggas over here, you know, what right. I'm saying? they'd be like, he going down there, like, are you going to the other bro? When you he, just yeah, he used to ask me. He used to ask me, but I'd be like, there, bro. be like, nah, I, see, I got you. I'm gonna tell you something about me in college. I ain't part. I ain't party a lot until I got out of college. Because in college the parties were so like congested with uh stepping and strolling that I was just like, how y'all find this shit enjoyable? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how I felt about it. But I used to go, but then, you know, get in the party in college. Like that like I'm sure y'all had a different experience in Hattiesburg, cause y'all y'all shit probably was a little bit cheaper to get in the co- uh parties. Oh, yeah, but really up don't. but downtown, man, you spending twenty five, forty to get in. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? We in college. Yeah, it was, it was five dollars. For exactly. Them. See, we yeah. ain't got five dollar yeah. nothing downtown. And then the most, the most yeah. used to be like twenty. 
Yeah, nigga, the most nigga that's the every night on yeah. So it was the different. Y'all live in a college town, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I've never been more broke in my life than I was in college. <laughs> but also, I never had more fun in my life. Yeah, than I broke had fun is the college. best fun. So now imagine if you're an athlete in today's time and you got an NIL and you in college Ooh. having fun and you got money. Bruh. Me and my homie was talking about imagine if imagine how we wouldn't have no women if we was on campus with Shiloh and Shadur and I was like, bro, how we gonna compete with that? <laughs> I, 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 yeah. mean, how, I mean, how are we gonna compete with that? It don't matter how good we look. Right. They look better with a diamond Cuban link on. <laughs> But yeah, man, we gonna we gonna round this podcast off, man. It's been great having y'all boys on here, man. We're gonna have to do this again, chop it up yeah. on some daily topics, man. Fun, man. And yeah, man, we rounding Appreciate this off. It. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Anytime.